This is Silakawago, home to a beautiful traditional Japanese village that is known for their unique Yasho style houses. In this video, I want to share with you how to visit these beautiful villages using public transportation. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to go to Shirakawago from Tokyo or even from Osaka, which bus and train to take, where to take them, where to buy the ticket, how much does it cost, how long does it take to Shirakawago, all the tips and information that might be useful for you to plan your next trip to Japan. The name of the village is Ogimachi and it is located in an area of Gifu prefecture called Shirakawago. In 1995, Ogimachi village was recognized as a World Heritage Site in Japan together with Suganuma and Ainokula village in Gokayama and all together they are known to visitors as the historic villages of Gokayama and Shirakawago. Shirakawago is located in a mountainous area and is not accessible by train. So to get to Shirakawago, you need to take a train to a nearby city and then take a bus from there to go to Shirakawago. And there are several options for this transit hub. The two most popular ones are Nagoya and Kanazawa. You can choose either of them depending on your travel plan and preference. From Osaka, if you choose Nagoya as the transit hub for Silakawago, you can take the Tokaido Shinkansen to Nagoya Station and then take a bus from Nagoya Station to Silakawago Bus Station. In total, it takes about less than 4 hours and the cost is about 10,000-ish yen. From Osaka, if you choose Kanazawa as the transit hub for Shirakawago, you can take the JR Thunderbird train to Kanazawa Station and then take a bus from Kanazawa Station to Shirakawago Bus Station. In total, it takes about 4 hours and 30 minutes and the cost is also about 10,000-ish yen. From Tokyo, if you choose Nagoya as the transit hub for Shirakawago, you can take the Tokaido Shinkansen to Nagoya Station and then take a bus from Nagoya Station to Shirakawago Bus Station. In total, it takes about 4 hours and 30 minutes and the cost is about 15,000-ish yen. From Tokyo, if you choose Kanazawa as the transit hub for Shirakawago, you can take the Hokuriku Shinkansen to Kanazawa Station and then take a bus from Kanazawa Station to Shirakawago Bus Station. In total, it takes about less than 4 hours and the cost is more than 16,000 yen. For our trip, we decided to spend two days in Shirakawago area and one day to explore Kanazawa city so we chose Kanazawa as our transit hub for Shirakawago. To get to Kanazawa station from Tokyo, you can take the Hokuriku Shinkansen departing from Tokyo station or Ueno station. We also take the same bullet train, but this time we started off our trip from Omiya Station, which is the hub of transportation of Saitama Prefecture right next to Tokyo. Omiya is the third station on the Hokuriku Shinkansen line after Tokyo and Ueno. For the Shinkansen tickets, we bought our two-way tickets 
from the Ekinet website, which is the official online reservation of the JR East Company. JR East is the company operating the JR trains and bullet trains in the northeast part of Japan. We selected the Shinkansen e-ticket type because we have the IC cards, so we could link each of the Shinkansen ticket to each of our Sika card. That way, we just need to tap the Sika card at the Shinkansen entrance gate to get on the Shinkansen. If you don't have an IC card, you can select the paper ticket type instead. I made a separate video to show you step by step how to buy a ticket on this Ekinet website and how it works after you buy your ticket online. So please check out that video for details. I highly recommend buying the Shinkansen tickets online before your trip because they have many really good deals there. On some trips, you can save up to 50%. For example, from Tokyo to Kanazawa, one of the transit hubs to go to Shirakawago, the normal ticket is about 14,000-ish yen. But if you reserve 20 days before your departure day, you can get it for as cheap as 7,000 yen. That is 50% off. Really, really good deal. But they are limited offers and it's first come first serve so you have to really time it to be able to get one of those deals back to our trip to Shilakawago when we tapped the Suika card at the Shinkansen ticket gate there was no seat information printed out at the gate so we used the confirmation email to check for our seat numbers this is different with the SmartX system where you get a paper printed out at the Shinkansen gate to let you know your seat number on the train. From Tokyo area to Kanazawa, it takes more than two hours and is a perfect time to relax, enjoy breakfast and coffee on the train. There was Wi-Fi on the train, but since there were many tunnels on the way, the Wi-Fi was usable but unstable. Toilets and refreshing corners were clean and bright, and I recommend using the toilets on the train because the toilets at Kanazawa Station are more crowded. Kanazawa is the capital city of Ishikawa Prefecture, and Kanazawa Station is a major station in this region. After arriving at Kanazawa Station, we went to the bus terminal right away, which is right outside the west exit of Kanazawa Station. It was pouring rain when we arrived, but the way to the bus terminal was covered with a roof. It was really helpful, and we didn't need to use umbrellas at all. The express bus to Shilakawago from Kanazawa Station is at bus stop number 4. That is the bus to Shilakawago. It's a reserved bus. You have a seat number when you buy the ticket. So just take your time, but try to come on time. We bought our ticket online directly from the bus operator website and just show the tickets on our phones to get on the bus. The seats were comfortable and there were chargers at every seat. There was Wi-Fi on the bus which was fast and smooth and didn't require registration to use. You could stay on this bus all the way to Shilakawago, but for us, we got off one station before Shilakawago and that is Gokayama. Gokayama is home to the beautiful and peaceful Suganuma village. It is one of the three villages recognized as World Heritage Sites, together with Ogimachi village in Silakawago. But it is often overlooked by visitors. If you are looking for a calm and quiet place, Gokayama is definitely the perfect choice. You can have a walk around the village, sit down for a cup of tea, or enjoy their signature tofu dish without having to wait in line.
After Gokayama, we continued to take the bus to Shirakawago. We didn't have to return to the bus station that we got off because there's another bus station on the other end of the village, which was really close <laughs> and convenient. It was on the same route, but it was not an express bus. There were a few brief stops on the way. It was like a city bus, so we just got on the bus and paid by cash when we got off at Shilakawago. The bus terminal at Silakawago is located right outside Ogimachi village, and you can walk to the village right away. The bus terminal at Silakawago is a small one. There's no convenience store there, but there are vending machines and toilets. There's a small waiting area, but not really enough space for everyone. It's gonna be the same when you go back. Take the bus from Shilakawago to your transit hub and then take the train to Osaka or Tokyo. So that's how to get to Shilakawago from Tokyo area. I leave all the links in the description below, not sponsored, not affiliated in any way. They are the sites that we actually used for our trip. I hope this video can be a reference for your next trip to Japan. If you find it helpful, share it to your friends. Don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. It will help me continue to make more videos like this. Thank you so much. Until next time, take care and have a nice day. Thank <laughs> you.